And both of those wildfires happened in areas under no drought warning. This week, the Austin Fire Department started new intense training to fight wildfires like never before. KXAN's Aaron Cargill just returned from the action as live to show us the skills they're picking up. Aaron. Yeah, good evening. By the end of July, all 1,100 Austin firefighters at every single fire station will have gone through the exact same wildfire training. It goes way beyond the PowerPoints and training videos they've been using in the past. One, one hit, go. This week, the first round of Austin firefighters are hitting the ground. All right, you got water? Let's see it All right, let's start walking it out. Stepping up their wildfire training like never before. It's been hard to justify year after year. Not after the worst wildfire season Central Texas has ever seen. It's a unique chance to get up close and personal with special wildfire fighting equipment. There you go. Boom. All right. Some have never had their hands on. Theoretically, we could send any of our firefighters out and do the exact same thing because they've all achieved the same exact training. That's low flow. Keep going. They're training That's on low lighter, low longer low hoses. Low using special hand tools to cut fire lines. The nice thing with this hose, you see the coupling right here. And getting comfortable with unique equipment together. they could encounter on a wildland brush truck. They're also learning survival skills for the worst case scenario, when they can't outrun the fire, by wrapping themselves in these fire shelters. That could mean the difference between life or death. Being more prepared, feeling more confident is the, the main thing, so just enhances our job. Aiden Bradley helped fight the Bastrop County wildfire. This equipment that we have out here, some of the setups are very similar to what we were experiencing out there, uh, but it, it's really hammering through the, the need for, for safety, for, for distances between people while carrying tools and also for carrying fire shelters. Good things to know before going in. And Austin is one of the few doing anything this hands-on. They say other departments are sure to follow. Now, all of that training that you saw, a lot of it is covered by a grant from the Texas Forest Service. The Texas Forest Service was also out there helping today with the training, along with the Lake Travis and Round Rock Fire Departments. We're live in downtown Austin tonight, Aaron Cargill, KXAN News.